What is the most important supplement in the last two decades, probably? I would say it's creatine. Now, a lot of people are going to claim the, the uh, involvement in it, but I can tell you from my side how everything happened. I was uh, collaborating with uh, Mr. Bill Phillips at the time, and I was the first guy that sent him an uh, injectable version of creatine, Neotone from Italy, uh, you know, the box, and you know, he was asking, what is this for? We were writing articles, so I said, like, this is something a lot of Russian, Bulgarians, Eastern Germans are using. It uh, replenishes your ATP, you know, it's gonna give you strength, power, hydrates you. It's, you know, basically uh, natural anabolic also. You know, so he says, don't you have this in uh, oral form? And I said, I have never seen it. And uh, I remember very well when he was saying, you know, if you can find a, a oral version of this supplement that they would make a uh, killing. I, I believe this was 93 uh, when I talked to him and uh, I believe 94, 95, uh, creating monohydrate came about. And I don't know exactly who was involved with it in the research, but the uh, idea about it, uh, I can guarantee you, it came from me. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as, I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end, the death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing set. He's a marketing genius. Got it. Got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster. A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. That this, no, no way. That stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was gonna explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me. 